Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today I want to share with you our last Montessori video in this series. Um, this is the Birds Montessori Inspired Activities for Toddlers and Preschoolers. This first tray is a counting tray. We got these cards with eggs on them from Teaching Mama, and I will link all of this in the description box below to our blog post. But then we added the numbers at the bottom, and then you just use a clothespin to place it on the correct number after you, know, you count out all of the eggs on that card. And then in our next tray, we have these tube uh, backyard birds that we got, and these matching cards. With that go with them. And these are three part cards that have the bird names, and then these are actual images of the, they like match perfectly with the tube figurines. So um, it's a great way to have your child interact with these. And I will once again link all of this information in our blog post and put that in the description box below. Now, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but my son does not know how to read quite yet, but he is able to recognize different letters and match them up that way. Um, and then he went ahead and matched up the birds with each one of the cards that are basically the same size even, so it's really great for that. And then the third activity, this wasn't really a tray, um, but this is kind of a separate game, is this matching cards game. We actually picked this up from a local park, um, and they had a gift shop, and we found these, and they're just really a very nice quality to use for doing, you know, the memory, typical memory game. Um, but you could also use these in a variety of ways. If your child is younger, then maybe they just match the colors with the cards. You can just limit it to six cards or eight cards. And then this next tray is really to get your kids outside. So this was a, a bird behavior hike chart <laughs> uh, that we used for uh, going around outdoors in the yard and then we also I think we took it on a hike in a local park so it was great to just um, like search for these different things and just explore the idea of birds um, we also had a collection of materials that you would use for making a nest so we went around and gathered those as well and we just made that up ourselves and then these cards, which have birds with matching nests, we also got from the Department of uh, Natural Resources for our state of Maryland. These were really great. They have a lot of information in them. So um, we just printed them out and then glued, you know, the fronts and backs together. But I think you could just probably just print it two-sided. And then talked about the different types of nests there are. I mean, I personally learned a lot from this. I think it's very interesting. I'm not sure how much a young child could grasp, but I think this could certainly grow with your child. And then you could reintroduce this unit again year after year, you know, in the springtime and, and go hunting for nests. And this is the N is for nest pack from Teaching Mama that I referenced in our first tray with the egg counting. And there are a lot of different activities within this, um, you know, tracing the letter N. And there are these different patterns um, to look for with different birds and nests and tracing. And then there also is a lacing exercise for this. So it's a free printable. I will link that in the description box below. And we always use these crazy dot stamps, or I think I've talked about IKEA stamps before, to just mark out different patterns. And then with this tray, we made a nest. We used recycled paper bags from our recycle bin and a paper plate and some glue, just cut them in pieces and then glued it into a nest shape. And then we printed out this egg printable and then colored in using these Stabilo uh, crayons. 
and made them really colorful and then made a nest from that. And then a great book to go with this whole learning unit is A Nest is Noisy. I think I may have gotten this from another parenting blog, The Happa Family, if any of you all watch their show as well. And they have such beautiful imagery in this book. Now, I am an architect, so thinking about animal dwellings and human dwellings is personally very fascinating for me. So I really find this book quite interesting with how they diagram all of the different nests for all sorts of different creatures. This is not just about birds, so it is a great introduction and could be used for different study areas and different learning units if you're homeschooling but a wonderful resource, certainly great for your library. And we wrapped up our learning unit with this birdhouse kit. Um, I didn't include this in the trays or anything. This was more of an icing on the cake sort of activity and just enjoyed painting it outside. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This will be our last video in our Montessori inspired activity series. If you would like to see more Montessori inspired activities, please leave us something in the comments below and we will consider adding more into the series in the future. Thanks so much for stopping by our home.